Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video, um, I thought I'd share my favourite, you know, luxury designer fashion brands that I absolutely love and that I stalk, you know, Netta Porter and Farfetch to see what's new. And just to maybe shed some light to some brands that maybe, um, you haven't heard of or you have never tried. But jumping straight in, number one, Norma Kamali. Now this is a piece I discovered this summer on Netta Porter. Um, they also stock on Revolve and things, but I wouldn't buy from Revolve because it's incredibly overpriced. Um, I think also perhaps Louisa Villaroma and likely Farfetch since they stock almost everything. Um, I love their styles. I love their styles, I love their colours. Norma Kamali is, has quite a sexy, essence to it in my opinion uh, which i quite enjoy who uh swimwear pr the predominantly known for their swimwear really um and also dress i don't enjoy every piece i think some can look quite cheap this is my norma kamali piece it's a little sexy but also a little girly i love the color i love the skirts with this i broke my rule of never buying designer swimwear no it's not you know your typical chanel swimsuit or Louis Vuitton monogram bikini um which each to their own but I just couldn't see myself buying that but then again I couldn't see myself buying you know designer swimwear as a whole but that's just me um apologies for my voice by the way I'm still a little, I'm still a little ill um so yeah this is my normal Kamali swimsuit um it's a little sexy and risque with a plunging neckline but I just bought it because I love the colour again it's showing up crappy on camera but it's the most beautiful beautiful <laughs> beautiful sweet bubblegum pink um with ruching and a, li a little skirt down here i thought it was just quite fun um there was also a beautiful red mini dress that i love i find that if they was to increase their prices much more i wouldn't opt for them um or even look at them to be honest because like i say it's not the most high quality materials in regards to sizing just if you don't want to see my Revolve video, it is in there and I can't remember if I said any more information than this, but um, my piece isn't extra small. I take a UK 6 really, sometimes a 4. Um, and on the bottom half for me, it was quite tight. Um, so perhaps that's something to bear in mind. Next up, Rowan Rose. Mm. Rowan Rose, <laughs> there we are. Um, a brand I found on Netta Porter. So these are my only piece from the brand. They are pink wool trousers. They are the trouser version of the infamous uh, Chrishell selling sunset dungarees. Um, and my goodness, are they thick and well made. I find the styles they do is sort of wool tweeds, but it's not that sort of when you can see a brand has directly replicated, you know, the whole, Chan the whole Chanel vibe. My apologies for any quick change in setup. My tripod literally just fell over. Um, but yeah, that's her own the brand. <laughs> I would recommend that you check them out at least. A little more expensive. I say a little quite a lot more expensive um, but i would definitely see if you can get any discount codes off anything in the sale um like i say quality is amazing i mean those wool trousers i purchased my goodness next <laughs> up alessandra rich rich um i love this brand i they're a brand that i absolutely love seeing on farfetch and when their new season pieces come in um I haven't got anything myself. I did almost get, oh, it was the most beautiful, and my heart is going to ache for this set. It was the most stunning um, blue check set of trouser, crop top. I think they did a skirt as well, but that would have been for me, and crop blazer. And oh my goodness, did I want that set. But at that time, I just didn't have the money to spend on, you know, designer clothing, which is such a shame. Oh, I love it so much. Um, I find their pieces so interesting. I think this is a more common brand that most people know. Charo Rui uh, Ibiza. I love. A brand that I fell in love with after I was about to go to Santorini. I wanted a pretty white dress, um, something new. Last minute I picked up, um, which I believe is called the Cell Dress. Um, again, it's also my revolver. I was a little underwhelmed on the website. I thought, oh, we'll see how what this comes 
looking like it looks a little boring it's an amazing dress quality is amazing i mean it's light it's a cotton dress it's a summer piece i have a size extra small and it fits like a glove um there's an underskirt so when you spin and this part um flows out you know it's not all out so you don't have to worry um the detail is beautiful it isn't overly expensive um in my opinion and you just get a good quality beautiful piece um oh they did some beautiful blue uh pieces this summer it's a black dress i oh it's one of those brands where really you know i'd, I'd buy everything if i could <laughs> there's very few charui why can't i speak today i do apologize um pieces um that i wouldn't pick up santini couture now this is only a brand that i became aware of due to influencer marketing and then being promoted by influencers um but when looking into them I can't speak myself to the quality as I don't have a piece, but I definitely, if, if you saw my autumn winter, if you saw my autumn winter wish list, um, you'd have seen a piece on there that I haven't picked up, maybe in the new year, we shall see. Um, but I love their pieces. They're a little more, uh, they're a little fancy, a little, not your boring outerwear, you know, feminine, um, a little on the side of, I would argue in some pieces I could see myself wearing that as a child but also I could wear it in a way as a grown adult as well that I figure wouldn't look odd you know I, I just quite enjoy their pieces um I, I believe they do do it a child's line actually um I believe it's faux fur and wool I just find them quite interesting and fun and I I could see myself having a few pieces from there I don't think price points too crazy either um so yeah, I'd definitely check them out if it's something where you haven't looked before because you're like, oh gosh, it's just an influence promoting a brand, you know, definitely I would say have a look. Next up, which was going to be my final, uh, Casablanca, Casablanca, Blanca, Casablanca, Blanca. This year they came out with the most cool crochet, um, ombre sets. They did a pink, I think, Later in the summer they came out with a blue, slightly different, they had a logo this time, I think because the pink did so well. Um, but I would die, I'm praying that they restock the pink next year. A little pricey for crochet, uh, in my opinion. But they're darn adorable, like I absolutely love the pink set. I love the blues as well, but if I had to pick any, certainly the pink set. I'm hoping I can get it somewhere, you know, with a discount code. Um, because like I said, it's a little over I'd want to pay for a crochet piece. But then again, you know, there's a top and a skirt um, used as cover-ups, or um, say you're going to a little more, going to a country where you want to be a little more covered on the shoulders, you could put some linen trousers, the top on, um, and your shoulders are covered. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see myself picking this up next year. Oh. Also, I saw on Farfetch, and I'm not sure if it's the actual price or just inflated because it's Farfetch, but the most stunning, and I saw Cassie Thorpe as well, she hauled another um, silk shirt from there. <gasps> Beautiful. I love the patterns, and I'm very particular with patterns. I think you'll find if you are subscribed or you watch or something, um, which is odd to say, that I don't really wear prints. I'm not a print girl, um, but I do love the prints on them shirts. And finally, a brand which probably before this year I wouldn't have put on my list, Self Portrait. Um, it's always a brand I think most people know about. Um, they do cute pieces. It's nothing that people really went, oh wow. Um, I've considered an azalea dress um, for when I couldn't find a piece for the races because your safest bet if you're going to the races and you don't know what to wear, get a Self Portrait azalea dress. You know, it's a go-to uh, for many race goers. Um, but other than that, I've never been overly interested. But this year, I think as a lot of you have seen, they really have done a lot more interesting designs. Uh, I know the other day I saw a beautiful um, pink knit set. Again, they're a little more feminine, a little more girly. Not exclusively now. I know they've done a few more cooler styles um, this autumn, winter. But I find myself, you know, within the last few months, actually going onto the self-portrait website and seeing all their new pieces because they're actually quite interesting rather than you know a little floral dress and a top with a bow on it or something 
I'm not sure if this video will go out before or after I haul this, but I picked up a self-portrait top that was on my autumn winter wish list. Um, I'm really showcasing it well, as you can see. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they are the brands that I'd check out if I were you. If you will I've already been well aware of these brands and probably think, oh, well, this was interesting. Um, but I just wanted to discuss and uh, share with you the ones that excite me. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time and bye.